number six of these champions. How are we going to do it? Okay, so right now, what we're going to do is go ahead and pick the first number. Okay. So after the race is over, the, 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 the 10 tickets, the fans will come down and you'll get a chance to roll the dice right in the middle of the track. First ticket. It's a red ticket. Six zero, six two. And we're going to bring you in. And the next ticket is... Six zero six six five one. Six six five one. All right, hang on to that ticket because we're going to hang on to ours. So we're going to meet you once again at the security gate. Six zero three five. Excuse me. Right side field tank. Six eight three five. Long day on the side Sir Justin, how crazy has it been out there? Uh, I think I've been in every accident tonight, but I'm having a blast. I'm just glad to make the A main. That's right, that's right. Well, good luck to you on the final 40. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, how crazy has it been out there? Uh, rookies driving a track, yeah. Got forced in the wall earlier. Oh, yeah? A lot of fun. What about for you? I don't have the car to compete with these big boys, but... Uh, so, you got to make it wide? I'm going to wait till, uh, wait till the end. Attrition. Then I'll start, Attrition I'll is the key word. Yeah, especially in that car. <laughs> All right, guys, well, good luck. Thanks. All right, Josh, it's been pretty crowded out there. What, what can we expect for the next portion? I'm going for it. Going, going for the win, right? Yep. All right. Uh, you, you making friends out there or making enemies? Uh, it's hard to explain, you know, I want to get hit from the back and get pushed to the front, you know, it all, we all want to win, so. Sounds like a short track race. Yes, yes sir. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Restart lap at number 25, 40 laps remaining. The double zero, Steve Smith, has been leading this race. Flag to now. Outside, Mayer, Meyer, I'm sorry, say it again. Crom side, Conklin, we go green. It's been an exciting first 25 laps. Jeffrey's gonna be an exciting 40. Already contact with your top two. We heard that some guys were not happy with Crom side because of contact, but talking specifically about the 69 of Cliff Conklin. Conklin making more contact. Jim trying to get to the inside. He's able to make a hole and is now riding behind the 08 of Josh Whitfield. A guy who's been quiet up in the front this whole race, two guys I should say, is 88 of Lost in the yellow car and the 73 of Ralph Adams. Whitfield looking to the outside of Adams, looking to the outside, now sneaking to the inside. Not able to get the job done. We got, we got a lot of racing back in turn number one and two, but we also got a good battle for the fifth spot. Whitfield trying to make a move around Adams, you see in the 73, for the fifth position. It's got to be tough here at Orange Road Speedway, Jeffrey. Quarter mile, tight turns, and the only way to really get around someone is using your bumper. This is why fans love short track racing, Tommy. It's, it's all about the aggression level that each driver has combined with the skill level that he's able to use. And the cream always seems to rise to the top, but sometimes you get surprises. That's right. Look at Winfield going onto the line to the inside of Adams. Still not able to get it done. You see these guys are backing off. When they get to the bumpers, if they still a little bit to the inside, it's a gentleman's agreement that the pass is not legit. So the driver behind, the one that's trying to make the pass, will get on the brakes, let the guy carry on. But if the right front tire gets to the door, then it's a legitimate pass. And if they make contact from then on, 
that's when the, the uh, feathers get a little ruffled, if you will. Lap 35 down, out of 65. Champion Steve Smith out front in that double zero. He's led every lap so far. Going through lap traffic, you see another great battle right here of Lawson in that 88 yellow car. Whitfield now making the pass around Lawson in the 08 machine, you see. And Adams doing a great job keeping Whitfield behind him, Jeffrey. You know what, I talked to Whitfield during that break, he said, I asked him, what now? He said, we're going for it. A lot of great racing around this track, but that's the one to watch right now. Even though we do have a battle, contact, Lawson off the pace, going into turn number one. Wonder what's going on there. Lawson is the top five car this whole race. Looked like he lost power and Regained it, but it's stuck on the outside. Whitfield gets around Adams for the fourth position. A battle is brewing for the second spot. Cromside and Meyer trying to go side by side down the front straightaway. They had contact right after the restart, so we're going to have to watch out if anything develops with the 56 and the 5. Now, now Jeffrey, take a look at the 5, the right front tire of the five, you'll see the brake rotors glowing. Garrett Cromside on the brake pedal here tonight. Throw another car into this mix. Here's the 08. Whitfield looking to get around Meyer and that 56. Both of them sliding out of the turn. Number two. Lap traffic in the mix as well. You realize that this is your second, third, and fourth place. Oh, oh Cromside gets into the back of the seven machine of Burgess, and seven goes into the 48. Hey, we have an onboard camera on the five car. Oh, we can definitely see what just happened there. And Tommy, yeah. I want to point something out. Yes, we do revert back a lot, but the way that left things, Luke is in second spot. Oh, boy. Well, Jeffrey, yeah, you saw what happened there. Cromside got into the seven of Burgess, said, "Buddy, you're in the way. I, you know, I have to get, I have to get you out of the way." Well, when he did, the seven, as you see, seven's on Happy Burgess, <laughs> drove in, basically had no way around it, and ran into the 48. So, Maddie and Burgess kind of caught up in that caution off of the front bumper of Cromside. Well, it's a developing story. We're going to see what the officials are going to say. I think they're going to probably let this one slide as a fact of lap traffic. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Lap 43. Kasha. All right. The cone is out. Who is going to take it? 56 looking. Whitfield going to the outside. He's going to challenge for the lead. Adam's taking it. Jeffrey. This is going to be shaping up to be a wild and crazy restart with Whitfield on the outside of Smith. Smith has been leading every lap up to this point. We saw Whitfield do this in the B main and Tommy, that's the last time they ever saw him. That's right. It worked out for him then. Will it work out for him now? He's got to get around the champion of the street stock division out here at Orange Show Speedway. 1-800-LOAN-MART putting on this $4,000 to win, $15,000 purse. Street Stock Shootout. A big thanks to Orange Show and 100 Lone Mart for putting this race on. Unbelievable. And these guys, the Street Stock guys, Jeffrey, I mean, that is a, that is the sweetest treat you can throw a, a dog, a bone. You know, it's a cliche term, but this is the Daytona 500 for these guys. But, Tommy, I just want to point out, I am having a dream right now. Look at the front row. Jeffrey, you love double zero. That's your favorite number, and there's two of them. Well, oh kind of. Goodness. Well, kind of. There's a tape. There's a piece of black tape separating. It counts. Absolutely. Restart. Lap number 43. We go green. What's going to happen? Whitfield gets a great run going into one. Gets a great exit, but Conklin around, and 
We will go yellow. Pretend that never happened now, except for the seven of burgers. We're gonna try this one again, Jeffrey. Now we saw what happened last time. There was a crash in turn two. Restart lap number 42. Smith and Whitfield, more contact going in one and two. They keep it clean and Whitfield will clear and be your new leader going into turn three and four. From last to first for the 08. Both races. Oh yeah. Well, the reason why we're putting so much pressure on that 08, if you did not see the B main event, we mentioned it many a time. The 08, the fastest car of the weekend, did not qualify because he had motor issues. Ralph Adams Sato is saving it with almost getting more contact. But anyway, 08 Whitfield was not able to qualify, had to start dead last in the B main event, worked his way through that one. Adams looking to be way off the pace. In fact, looking to pull it off the track. Meyer, Jim Conklin, oh boy. The Conklinator. We called Cliff Conklin the Conklinator, but I think we got a Jim Conklinator. What the hell? <laughs> so the 56 of Meyer makes contact. Like Tyler, Conklin just drove through the field twice. Wow. We have some angry drivers on this track. Jeffrey, this is part of the street stock shootout. When you put $4,000 up to a grab. Looks like the nine car is done. So it's right front is all facing the wrong direction. There's about four people that crashed, and Jim Conklin made the most of it. Where did Jim go? He's, He's over there next to the 98 Las Vegas resident of James Wingard. Or Wingard. Wow. Winder. Window. Yeah, no, this is going to be interesting. Surprisingly, Jim Conklin's car does not have near as much damage as it should, I guess. It sounded like he actually bounced off the wall. He did hit the wall, and then he bounced off more cars. So we're going to see what happens here. There's, they're fighting for position. Look at the toe in that 99 has. That thing is getting ready for figure eight boat race. Restart lap number 45. Okay, restart lap number 45, 20 laps to go to settle who's going to win $4,000. Restart, we go green. Another driver to point out is that number 66 riding in the fifth spot. A B main driver finished second in the B main. Now up in the top five. Looking to the inside of Lawson is that 66 of David Lord. And that makes the number 69 of Cliff Conklin. They call him the mountain man. And there's a bundle of joy back there. A tough break for that 56 Meyer. He was riding in the top five all night. And uh, unfortunately, was basically put out on that last wreck. 69 in the wall that last time by. I think all these guys are racing hard. Usually you don't see Conklin making a mistake here. At Orange Show, the 77 around. And hey, we stay pretty clean, but the caution comes out. The 77 oh, no. of Mark Fletchell. This is a caution on lap number 48. We only got a few laps in. I don't see any damage. I think we're good. Well, besides the left side. Yeah. I think we're good for a tape change. Oh, boy. 